I want to go from a brand new profile all the way to Hyperion using the garden update only. Basically farming to Hyperion but a lot more fun. I recently just finished my zero to golden dragon pet fishing only and gave the pet away and this is going to be no different. I'm going to be farming all my way from zero to Hyperion and maybe you could win it. But well, here's the thing, Hyperion on its own is 750 million but with scrolls it's 2.2 billion. So to actually make this series possible I'm going to be going for a clean Hyperion and maybe in the future of this profile I'll do another item. But yeah, if you're excited for this series, go down below and hit subscribe. And if you're going to be buying anything on the Hypixel store, remember to use code CCHLOE. And I hope you enjoy. Alright, here we are, new profile. Let's do this. Nice. We're at the hub. Okay, so what I need to work on is actually unlocking the garden, which is at Skyblock level 5, and then Bazaar at Skyblock level 7. So I'm going to have to do a ton of farming and unlocking a ton of collection. I'm just going to sell all this stuff and buy a rookie hoe for now. And here we go. Here's my first piece of farm suit armor. And there's the full set. This is a very cheap set and is going to give me an extra 20 farming fortune, which is nice. Oh nice, farming 9 and skyblock level 1. I really need to unlock carpentry so I can quick craft. Let me just do that really quick. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna head to the barn now for more collections. Jesus, there's so many potatoes, oh my god. Finally, I've unlocked quick craft. That makes my life so much easier. My inventory keeps getting clogged, so I'm just gonna sell my stuff to the NPC for now. 47,000 coins already, that's mad. What I'm gonna do with this money is get 30 levels to do a big enchant for the enchanting XP so I unlock more enchants, such as Harvest and Five, let's go. I think what I'm gonna do next is enchant a golden shovel so I can go to the farming islands and insta mine sand for Skyblock XP. Watch how fast this is. I'm gaining so much Skyblock XP right now for the level ups and collections. Mine and 10 already. This is so good. I'm honestly in the mood to just destroy this whole entire cactus place. Let's do it. Sick. Just five more XP to go and I'll hit Skyblock level three. And there we go. I think I'm just going to stick to leveling up each collection a tiny bit rather than grind a select few because it will give me more XP faster this way. So what haven't I done yet? Oh yeah, that's right. Wood. Skyblock level 4. That wasn't so bad. Just one more to unlock garden. And there we go, garden finally unlocked. Now we can officially start this challenge. Oh, what do I do now? Okay, talk to Sam. Bring Sam 25 wheat. I have some right here. Purchase fuel at school. Guy Mart. Here you go. Alright, nice. My first compost. Now I need to purchase a garden plot. Okay. Clean up 0%. What? Oh, right. So I have to clean all of this up so I can plant stuff. Seems easy.
There we go, all clean. So I just opened a shop stand with Sam. <laughs> nice. We're business partners. Yo, what's Jerry doing here? Save my first customer. Oh nice, I just got 5 copper and hit garden level 2. I actually want to build my first farm now, but the thing is I need bazaar unlocked. Or I need almost 8,000 seeds, so I guess let's unlock bazaar. Someone's just told me you can plant seeds from your infantry. So, I don't even need an agronomy sack. Nice, my first official farm in the garden. And we have another customer. Oh, this is exciting. What does he want? 38 hay bales. <sighs> I've got loads. There you go. Nice, my first Jacob ticket on this profile. I've been told I'm going to need a day saver, which is in court collection, I think. And if you didn't know, I'm playing while Derpy is active as well. So I'm going to have to ask someone to craft me one that I can buy. Oh, and luckily someone was online to help me out. Thank you. My farm has grew now and I'm not that far off unlocking Bazaar, so let's see if I can do that. There we go, I've just hit Farmer 16, giving me enough XP to hit Skybook level 7. And I unlock Bazaar, that's amazing. So, I've just been to collect some redstone because on this profile I'm allowing the use of minions, apart from any farming ones. Only for the collection so I can focus on farming only. Nice. I have enough compost for my next plot, but I'm not excited for the cleanup. That can wait though because this guy wants enchanted potatoes. And now she wants enchanted carrots. There's actually no way Sack of Sacks is in Clownfish Collection 4. That's like 500 clownfish. Well, I never thought I'd say this again, but I have to do fishing. You would think after the whole series dedicated to fishing, I'd be over this by now, and you'd be thinking correctly. This is another reason I'm glad I'm allowing minions apart from farming ones, because all I have to do is get 50 collection so I can craft a fishing minion, and it'll do all the work for me. And almost an hour later, finally, 50 raw fish caught. I skipped right through that part because I don't like showing much of other skills since it takes the focus off the series. I think it's time to do the dreaded cleanup of my next plot. Here we go. And done. Okay, so if this guy wants enchanted carrots and so does this guy, I think I've chosen my next farm for the plot. Perfect. Just gotta wait for that to grow and I'll farm it. For now though, I'm gonna sell some stuff I've got to buy enchanted carrots. 100 for 68k, that's not too bad. And 39 more will be enough for one of the customers. I've got 33 copper now. I think it's time for me to buy the advanced garden hoe since it has replenish. And the 10 extra farm fortune is nice. Ah uh, yes, Replenish is hands down one of the best enchants on the server. Oh, let's go. I just unlocked an armor upgrade. Farm armor. This gives 10 farmer fortune per piece instead of the 5 my tech gives me now. I'm gonna have to save that. Oh, let's go. Carrot 9 and farming 18. I'm actually levelling up quite quick, especially for not having any pets. 
There's a farming contest right now for carrots and this guy wants carrots too so what I'm gonna do is just enter the contest for the free Jacobs ticket and get enough enchanted carrots to save this customer. Alright, contest is now over and I have enough carrots for you. There you go. Claim my free ticket. There we go. Another plot cleaned and ready for a farm. I'm going to make this one a melon farm so I can start working towards unlocking the craft recipe for melon armor. Now that I have a melon farm, I'm going to need an advanced garden axe and luckily I have enough copper. Oh my god, without a personal compactor, this is going to be so annoying. Let's go, farming 20. Jesus, my visitors are full. I'm going to have to do some. One of them wants six hay bales. That's quite easy. That's another plot cleaned and ready for the farm. I think this time I'm gonna go with potatoes because a lot of my visitors want enchanted potatoes all of a sudden. All done. Let's see what some visitors want. Two enchanted melon blocks. That seems doable. There we go. That didn't take too long. I'm gonna go farm for some wheat now to upgrade another piece of my armor. Alright, five enchanted hay bales, that's enough for a helmet. I've just farmed my entire potato farm once and got all of these potatoes. That's actually pretty good. Just gonna farm a little bit more and you'll see why. Three orders done just like that. Nice. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Sometimes I hate quick craft, you know? That's just set me back like 10 minutes. Ooh, a legendary visitor. 229 pumpkins for 140 copper. That's a nice deal. I kind of want to build the farm though and grind the materials for myself. And to do that, I'm going to need 16 compost. I think what I'll do is claim all my free Jacob tickets from contests I've done and buy the compost with that money from them. This is going to take a while. Nice. Let's turn this plot into a pumpkin farm. All done. The reason I didn't just buy the pumpkins from Bazaar is because I also want to unlock a lantern helmet, farmer boots and rancher boots to craft. That should be enough pumpkins now for Jerry. There we go. We got 140 copper. That is so good. I've got 226 copper now. I think it's time to buy some Lotus equipment. Looks like I have enough for the belt and the bracelet. Nice. And with the rest of my copper, I'm going to buy some Sunderbucks. For the extra farming fortune on my axe since you can't add harvest into it. Sunderfort is good for now. I've just farmed a bunch of pumpkins to sell so I can buy enchanted sugar for one of my visitors. 
I need 397 and she's going to give me 103 copper for it which is pretty nice. Honestly though farming without a personal compactor is awful because you have to stop at the end of each row and craft. I can't even buy one because auction house is down because of Derpy so I've asked around to see if anyone would trade me one and I'll give them a lotus bell for it because they're about the same when it comes to its value. Luckily my friend has come to the rescue and said they will do the trade. Let's go, I have a personal compactor now. Life is going to be so much easier with it. This concludes the first episode of Garden to Hyperion. Let me know if you would like to see me continue. Leave a like and a subscribe and don't forget to use code CCLOWY in the Hypixel store. Thank you and goodbye.